doing, Rusty Halverson? Hello there, Tyler Axness. Have a great weekend? Yeah. Good. Pretty low key. Checked out that home and garden show. Go walk away with anything? Nope. Nope. Not even ideas? Oh, plenty of plenty ideas. Of, yeah, oh, you get lots the wish of list ideas. going at some Oh, listening. man. Talk to some good folks out there. And uh, yeah, when uh, when the iron's hot, we shall strike, but just not quite yet. Do you watch the Corgi racing? Um, I missed the Corgi racing. I saw the uh, saw the track, though. <laughs> it was all wrapped up by the time I got there. <laughs> Why Corgis? That's I, I should have asked when I uh, interviewed them last week. What's it with the Corgis and old dogs? I don't know. Is that a regular thing? I've seen like wiener dog racing is another thing. Okay. I think you I think there's times where you can bet on that. That's a whole other conversation. That's now <laughs> I called you in here. If somebody knows why we're racing corgis, three five two seven zero. Uh I don't know how to transition into this. So I'll just inflation. Yeah. Your thoughts. Yeah. Uh USDA <laughs> Outlook Forum last week, the Economic Research Service releasing its twenty twenty two farm income forecast and ERS senior economist Carrie Latowski says cash receipts for both crops and livestock are expected to go up this year, but the overall net farm income forecast is being tempered by inflation. Now, farm sector production expenses are forecast to increase by about 5% this year to uh, by, a, by about $20 billion, according to the ERS. That would follow a 9.4% increase in expenses in 2021. Now, if the forecasts are realized, 2022 production expenses – would be the highest since 2015, but still 11% below the peak that we saw in 2014 in inflation-adjusted terms. Well, I'm curious, uh, when it comes to this forecast, I, I know the timing of things, and the world changed what felt like overnight mm-hmm. when it comes to this invasion going on, this war. We've seen wheat prices, for example, change. This yep. outlook, I imagine, was compiled long before any thoughts of Yes, it was. Is, yeah. Yes, it was. And before many of these sessions, they kind of uh, they kind of couched the statements by saying, "We will not be able to um, comment on the current yeah. Russia Ukraine situation." And these forecasts and numbers were compiled before the world changed last week. Yeah, I'd be curious, uh, you know, because we, we even talked about uh, with your buddy up uh, north here mm-hmm. when it comes to investments and all that, saying. Yeah, wheat might be desirable for some out there, but still, when you got all these other, you know, so if that changes much, I'll be curious. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep an eye on her. Yep. Here's one for you, Rusty. Okay. Tyler, people only watch corgi races is to see them crash. <laughs> it's a real NASCAR attitude. Yeah, NASCAR <laughs> attitude. <laughs> Thanks for that. I appreciate that text coming in. You come back next hour, all right? I can do that. Uh, Rusty Alverson, Sarah Heinrich, multi-award winning agriculture journalist. You can go to kfgo.com and click away, learn a little bit more.